Something bizarre happened yesterday in Bauchi State. Bauchi is in Northeast Nigeria. And with this story, I am going to tell you why Ainek and Yakubu Mamou should be investigated for the election they conducted in 2023, the presidential election. Now, the Labour Party in Bauchi State secured the highest number of votes in the Bogoro councillorship election held in Lusabiwat of Bogoro local government area, despite not fielding a candidate. Now, Understand what I'm talking here. Labour Party did not field a candidate in that election, but they won that election. That is bizarre. That is crazy. Let's go forward. Because the Labour Party did not field a candidate, the Bauchi State Independent Electoral Commission declared the candidate from the ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP, Lucy Amadou Yusuf, who came in second place as the winner and the newly elected councillor representing Lucy B. Ward. Now, this is the number of votes that the Labour Party got. The Labour Party garnered 2,200 votes. The PDP Lucy Amadou Yusuf closely followed with 2,168 votes. Bauchi is a PDP state. The governor of Bauchi is Bala Mohammed, and the Labour Party won a councillorship vote in that state without fielding a candidate. Now, before I continue, I want to show you the vote that Peter Rubik got in 2023 presidential election in Bauchi state. In that election, P2B got 27,373 votes. 27,373 votes. I want you to listen to this and ask me how does it really make sense? How can Labour Party win an election in Bauchi State without fielding a candidate? No candidate, no campaign, but they got 2,000 votes and they won the election against the incumbent, a PDP councillor. How does it make sense to you? Does it ring a bell to you? Yes, it should ring a bell to you. It shows you the popularity of Labour Party now because of Peter Roby. People are going to cast their vote because of Peter Roby. The last election was conducted just one year ago, but the Labour Party is still in the people's mind. It's still in their memory. They sleep Labour Party, they think Labour Party. They cannot wait for 2027 to come for them to go again and vote for Labour Party. This is the reason they are voting for a party that do not have a candidate. It doesn't make sense. You won an election without fielding a candidate. That shows how popular you are. Now we are talking about a Northeast state, in Bauchi state, that I next said that Peter Roby got 27,000 of votes. Bauchi state has 212 wards in all the 20 local government area. And you're telling me that out of that 212 wards, just one word gave the Labour Party over 2,000 votes in a councillorship election that they did not participate, they did not advertise. And you want to make us to understand that out of the 212 wards, Peter Obi was able to get only 27,000 votes across the world and Bauchi State. It makes no sense. This shows you the level of rigging and manipulation that was done in 2023 in order to ensure that Peter Robey did not only win the election but came third. Yes, they knew that if Peter B had come second, the challenge would be more difficult for INEC and the judiciary. That was why they deliberately placed him on the third position to make it impossible for people to ask more questions. That is the reason why whenever they are talking about Peter B winning the election, you see people saying, how can you say someone that came third won the election? But yet, someone that came fourth in the Imo State election, we are talking about Hopu Zodima, was declared the winner of that election by the judiciary so you can see how possible it is for the INEC and the judiciary to collude and either rig someone out or declare someone a winner in this election i know most of you will be doubting this question you'll be saying it's not possible it's not true how did labor party logo appear on the ballot box if they did not participate in that election now let me answer your question the ballot paper they used in the 2023 election was the ballot paper they used in the yesterday election that was the reason why the labor party logo is still on that ballot paper and because that logo has been imprinted on the mind of the people the people have the memory of the labor party because what happened in 2023 was unprecedented there was a lot of grassroots mobilization for labor party 
Nigerians work hard, they traverse the breadth and the width of this country to ensure that they sensitize people about the Labour Party. So the memory of Labour Party is still fresh in the mind of the people. That was the reason why they went to that election and voted for a Labour Party candidate even when there was no candidate in that election. It shows you what 2027 is going to be like. 2027 election is going to be a different ball game and it's going to be very difficult for APC to rig that election and I'm going to explain to you that but before then there are two things that I want to talk about from this thing now most of you you've been clamoring for Peter Robey to leave the Labour Party and go form his own party Labour Party has been embroiled with a lot of controversies lately as I'm talking to you now the seat of the chairmanship of the Labour Party is still in controversy it is still vacant even though Aburi conducted a convention that brought him back to power. And of course, there are other issues like the Lamidia Baba led faction saying that Peter Rubi is not the leader of the Labour Party, saying that they are, they are now standing with Aburi and they are going to ensure that they fight Peter Rubi. And of course, I understand your sentiment when you want Peter Rubi to go create his own party. But if you look at what just happened yesterday, and that you can now understand that there is no need for Peter Rubi to create another party because it's going to be a disaster for him. Labour Party is his best bet for him to vote because the work they did in 2023 is going to yield more fruit in 2027. Of course, that work yielded fruit in 2023 by producing 6 million votes, which INEC allocated to him. You and I all know that P2B won that election. But in 2027, is going to yield more votes. Many people did not vote in 2023. Many people were not eligible to vote in 2023. Many people knew that Bolami Atinibu rigged his way to power and they are going to get prepared for 2027 not because of everything that happened but because of the Shege pro max they've seen under Bolami Tinubu regime many Nigerians know that if they allow Tinubu to continue in 2027 they are going to go extinct many Nigerians will go extinct because of hunger and poverty it will be more trouble and hardship upon them so I don't think they are going to fold their hands and allow Bolami Tinubu to continue as president in 2027 Nigeria Nigerians will fight with their blood. Nigerians will fight with everything within them to ensure that Bola Tinubu is not sworn in again as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, even if INEC or the judiciary collude. The reason why Tinubu was allowed to be sworn in was because Nigerians allowed it to be so. If Nigerians has gone on the streets to protest, I can tell you for a free that Tinubu would not have been sworn in by the judiciary. Never. Therefore, 2027 election is going to be a game changer. It's going to be a war for survival for Nigerians. Nigerians are going to do everything possible to ensure that who they want to rule them become the president. The last protest that happened shows you that Nigerians are willing to protest if they all come together. Of course, you might say that not everyone joined in that protest, but let me tell you something for free. If there is a protest that will come up again in this country, it's going to be much worse than what we experienced in August 1st. So you can see, PW should not leave Labour Party. Whatever is the problem in Labour Party is man management. It can be resolved. Whatever is the controversies can be solved. PW should ensure that the problem in Labour Party is fixed ahead of 2027. And I believe this is the reason why he's still in the Labour Party because he wants to fix the Labour Party. He wants to ensure that the problem in Labour Party is solved for 2027 election. And as obedient and I want to encourage every one of you to ensure you keep supporting him, keep pushing him. Don't allow people like Kenneth Okonkwo and others like Doye Okupe that have left the Labour Party and they are trained as person at the Labour Party. Don't look at them. These people might be playing to a script. I want you to follow your leader. Who is Mr. Peter B? If Peter B decides to leave the Labour Party tomorrow, good and fine. We follow him. But as long as he's still in the Labour Party, we should ensure that we build the Labour Party to what we want it to be. Another thing I want to talk about is the aspect of the North asking Peter Obi to join forces with Atiku Abubakar to win Tinubu in 2027. It's all obvious that Peter Obi is the most popular candidate now in Nigeria. Atiku Abubakar is unpopular. Whatever name or vote Atiku Abubakar is getting is because of the platform PDP he is. Atiku Abubakar should leave the PDP and contest in a smaller party, let's say SDP. SDP is even a bigger party compared to the Labour Party when Peter Obi took over. Atiku Abubakar should go and contest in a smaller party let us see his method. Let us see what he can do. Kwanku was so contested under NMPP and he was making mouth all over the place that he's more popular than Mr. Pitobi. 
This man went on a live television to call Peter Robi a regional candidate while asserting himself as a national candidate. But when the election came and was concluded, he got 1 million. 496,687,000 votes compared to Mr. Peter Robi's 6 million 101,533 votes, which was allocated to him by Aine. We know this is more. Out of the 1.4 vote that Kwan Kwaso got in the last election, 66% of it came from Kanu State, the state where he ruled as a governor, the same state that NMPP won that election. It shows you that Kwan Kwaso is the regional candidate, whereas Peter Robi is the national candidate. This is the same mouth they've been making in 2027. They are asking Peter Obi to come and become their vice president. Why should Peter Obi, a national candidate with much clout, become a vice president to Atiku Abubakar? They are all saying all this is because Peter Obi is an Igbo man and Atiku Abubakar is an Awusa man. They have this mentality that as long as you are an Awusa person, you have a more national reach than any other person in this country. What a sick mentality. It is because of this their arrogance that Tinubu is the president. These people you are seeing, they are the ones that are contributing to the destruction of this country. If PDP had swallowed their pride and handed Peter Robi the ticket in 2023, we will not be where we are today. These people were literally saying that Atiku Abubakar has a block 12 million vote. They were eyeing the block vote of President Muhammadu Buhari, not knowing that Atiku Abubakar is not Buhari. Atiku Abubakar has conducted an election as an independent candidate under ACL. He did not get up to 3 million votes. What then made them think that Atiku Abubakar is going to get that vote? Atiku Abubakar is an old man. He do not have the widespread support that Mr. Peter Robi had. But in 2027, they are still looking for Peter Robi to come and become a vice president, someone with a 6 million block vote. Atiku Abubakar cannot get a 6 million block vote if he contests as an independent candidate under a new party. Let him leave PDP and contest under a new party and let us see where his cloth will reach. Peter Robi is only one with that wide outreach, without wider support, with that block vote. This is the reason why the establishment, they are scared of Peter Robi. This is the reason why they keep attacking him on daily basis. You are seeing Reno Mokri, you are seeing Don Yokube. You are seeing everyone attacking Peter Robi, even those that cannot lace his shoe. They are attacking him. The only reason why they are doing it is because they want to break his rank ahead of the 2027 election. They knew that Peter Robi won that election. They are aware. So they are not even care about Atiku Abubakar. They are more focused on Peter Robi. Once they can take Peter Robi out of the way, 2027 election will be very easy for them to read. This is the reason why you must not allow that to happen. You need to support Peter Robi all through thick and thin. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.